trichotomy. Trichotomy. The trichotomy of them. Tri trichotomy. And so basically what this means is that I am a spirit that lives in a body that possesses a soul. Say, I'm a spirit that lives in a body that possesses a soul. See, a lot of us talk about the attack of the enemy, but we don't understand what the enemy is trying to attack. And so a lot of individuals don't even understand who they are in Christ Jesus. They don't even understand how they were made according to the scripture. And so, once again, the trichotomy is what it is. Tripart. We are, there are three parts to us. I am a spirit. I live in a body. I possess a soul. I am a spirit. I live in a body. I possess a soul. And so what we're going to study is how the scripture lays that out for us. So say, I am a spirit. I, a spirit. I live in a body. I, live in a body. I, possess a soul. I possess a soul. So let's turn to Genesis chapter 1 and verse number 26. And then we will look at Genesis chapter 2, verse number 7. And say it one more time. Say, I am a spirit. I, am a spirit. I live in a body. I, live in a body. I, possess a soul. I possess a soul. And so uh, I would like someone to read Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 and 27. Anyone? Then God said, Let us make man in our image according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, all over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him, male and female. He created them. Okay, so God said, Let us make man in our what? Okay. In our own what? Amen. Let's look at Genesis 2, 7. Genesis 2, verse number 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. Okay. So God formed man out of what? Yes. God formed man out of what? The dust of the ground. And, and did what? Breathed into his nostrils. And man became what? So the first thing God said is, let us make man in our what? Yeah. Image. So the word image means resemblance. Okay, to resemble. Um, I'm not even going to go into too many Hebrew words because there's some specific words that I want you to focus on, and this is not one of them. But um, the word image is to resemble or to be like. Let us make man in our image. Let us make man in our resemblance. Let us make man to be like us. And so Genesis chapter 2, verse number 7, gives us a detail on how God did this. The Bible says that God formed man out of what? Yes. God formed man out of what? Yes. The dust of the ground, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of what? Light. Light. And man became what? A living soul. So here's the image. Genesis 1, 26, 27. God said, let us make man in our resemblance, in our likeness. Let us make man in our image. <laughs> Genesis 2, 7 gives a breakdown of how God did this. First of all, the Bible says that God formed man out of what? Yeah. The dust of the ground. Now, the Hebrew word for the word form is the word yatser. That is the word form. I'll give you away in a minute. And this word literally means to squeeze in the shape. Okay, into shape. Okay. Like read my writing. Mm -hmm. The word he, the Hebrew word for formed is the word yatser. It means literally to squeeze into shape. So God formed man out of what? The the dust of the ground. Ground. So this is what God did. God had an idea. God wanted to make man in his own image and after his own likeness. So in Genesis chapter 2, verse number 7, the Bible says that God squeezed man into shape out of the dust, the dirt, or what I call the mud of the ground. And then the Bible says God blew into his nostrils what? The breath of life, and man became a living soul. So in order to understand what God breathed into man, you have to understand who God is. Amen. First of all, God is spirit according to the scripture. John 4 and 24, God is spirit. God is not a spirit. God is spirit. A spirit is containable. I am a spirit. I live in a body. I possess a soul. God is spirit. So God can be here and at the Czech Republic at the same time. God can be here and another part of the universe at the same time because God is omnipresent. God is everywhere at the same time because he's God. Are you with me? Yeah, yeah. So God blew into man's nostrils, his nose, the breath of life, and man became a living soul. So we know, number one, that God formed man out of the dust, the dirt, the clay, the ground. He squeezed man in the shame. 
Then he, the next step is God blew into.